remaining of the season yep. uh we, we've gotten some hints that it's a very explosive finale <laughs> and uh, a couple episodes leading in what can you uh what can you tell our audience uh, to expect from these last few episodes um well it's cliche to say expect the unexpected but one of the things we're doing is we're really ramping up just all, all the stuff that's been bubbling throughout the season just comes to a boil uh you know not just in the present day but also in the flashbacks all the questions you've had about what the undertaking is, what Fire's plan is, all, all everything's going to be revealed. Um, you know, we're not holding anything back. Uh, it's all big and explosive, not just in terms of the action, but also in terms of the relationships. We're going to return to the core love triangle of Oliver, Laurel, and and uh, Tommy. Um, you know, just like how we ended the pilot, we're ending the season with. And focusing on those three characters and and uh, you know big changes that are going to be happening in their relationship. Well, we've spoken in the past. You mentioned how you guys have a five year plan for the show, and you've sort of mapped things out as progress has you know started. Yep. Um, has anything surprised you as the seasons progressed, as far as what the audience has really reacted to? Um, surprised? No. I I think the thing that's cool that we like is one of the things we always said we wanted to do was burn through story and, and tell a lot of story in each episode and really advance plot lines very fast faster than other people expect and I think what's been really nice and gratifying is that seems to have resonated with the audience and people seem to be tuning in to see like what big things we're going to do each week and know that the show is not on a slow burn and, and that's nice um, you know uh, people's reaction to Felicity has been really gratifying. I, I wouldn't say it's surprising because we fell in love with her immediately. And, you know, we always approach the show as fans first. And we feel like if we're reacting to a character or to an actor or a moment, the audience will as well. But it's been wonderful to see everyone sort of fall in love with Felicity the way we did. And as far as uh, the action sequences, uh, you've been wrapping up on a action sequences as well. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, maybe some of your favorite moments that you guys have actually gotten to do on the show? Well, I tell you, we have... A few things um, coming up. I, I will say in terms of the action, it's like trying to pick between your children. I loved, personally, the parkour sequence that was in episode 18 um, last week. I mean, I, that bl completely blew me away. We have a action sequence that's inspired by the movie The Raid uh, that the stunt guys just knocked out of the park. I mean, wh what's been really wonderful about our stunts and our action is every episode they find a new gear somehow. Um, they're always going bigger and bigger and bigger, and we're like, how, how do they do it? Um, you know, we'll, we'll write these sort of, you know, a, a nice sort of stage direction-y of, you know, what needs to happen story-wise, but then they come in and just put their whole spin on it, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm a, a huge fan of the, you know, of the fight between the Dark Archer and uh, the Arrow in Episode Nine. That's one of my favorite moments. Um, the rooftop fight... Uh, that introduced the arrow in the beginning of episode two. Um, I mean, it's really hard to, for me to pick my favorites, but in terms of big actiony, scopey stuff, um, the stuff that's coming up is is fairly massive. Um, you know, that that raid scene that I mentioned, uh, that's in episode uh, twenty one. Um, we have a phenomenally like like it's have a seventies action thriller sequence in episode twenty. Um, every episode, it just we're having a lot of fun, and we're we're met, we're mixing up the action in, di in new and different ways. Not every action sequence is just the arrow pounding on someone. It's you know every sequence has its own unique identity. Well, thank you so much for your time. We're very excited cool. for the rest of season one and what's coming season two. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.